Chevrolet Malibus and Chevelles are one of the most popular muscle cars ever, and for good reason. They are an intermediate size with the biggest engines they could stuff in them to make great horsepower, they handled well, and they were practical enough to be able to still act as a family car when they needed to. And there's some really great Chevelles and Malibus in the Brothers collection. So today, we thought we would take a look at some of the top ones that we featured on previous episodes of Muscle Car of the Week. We're going to start this episode by looking back at episode number 58, which featured a 1970 Chevelle LS6 454 car. And it could very well be the earliest known American-built Chevelle LS6 for 1970. There was one with a build date a little bit earlier in Canada, but as far as American-produced cars go, this one had a build date of December 9th, 1969 making it a very early model for the 70 LS6 Chevelle model year. Part of what makes this car so special is that it's wearing the Super Sport package complete with the LS6 option, 450 horsepower, 454 V8. Uh, this car is very, very original, down to the engine bearings. It has been restored, uh, but it looks almost the way it did when it rolled off the assembly line back in December of 69. You can see the whole story on this car in Muscle Car of the Week, episode number 58. Next, we're gonna move a little bit earlier into the Malibu production, uh, episode 156, which featured a 1965 Chevrolet Malibu SS. Uh, it's a convertible, and it's painted in a wonderful color called Evening Orchid. And this one isn't as powerful as that LS6454, but it still has a V8 and a four-speed beautiful white interior, and the SS trim package. I think it'd be a really super cool car to cruise around in. We got a lot of great feedback on this one the first time we featured it. So we included it in our top Chevelles from the Brothers Collection. And again, you can see more of it in episode 156. Yeah. Our next top Chevelle is perhaps the hottest of the bunch. It's a 1969 Yanko Chevelle. Uh, Yanko was a dealership owned by Don Yanko, and he was able to work some magic through the Chevrolet Copo Central Office Production Order Program to be able to put 427 cubic inch V8s where they didn't come from the factory, like this 1969 Chevelle. They made uh, under 100 of these cars. They only make 12 of them in garnet red like this one. And this thing is just a beautiful example of these ultra rare, ultra desirable Yanko Chevelles. So of course, it makes our top list and you can see it in episode number 49. Next up, we're gonna move to 1966 uh, with a beautiful 66 SS396 Chevelle. And this car, it almost looks showroom new because it darn near is. It's only got about 10,000 miles on it since new. It's bright red, white interior, four speed, 396, the styled wheel caps, the correct tires. Everything about this car says, this is what this car would have looked like the day you brought it home from the dealership. And it still makes great power. It drives really nicely. It's a yardstick example of what these things should be. So we included this one in our Top Chevelle episode. And you can see the full feature in episode number 253. Rounding out our Top Chevelles Volume 1 from the Brothers Collection is another 1970 car, another LS6454 car. And we started this episode by showing you perhaps one of the earliest built 70 Chevelles. Well, this one could quite possibly be the very last one ever built, judging by the sequence of the VIN and the build date. It's a beautiful cranberry red 454 LS6 car. Uh, it's got all the right parts in all the right places, and it's a nice way to bookend the 70 Chevelles found in the Brothers Collection. If you want to learn more about how this one could possibly be the very last one, you want to check out our episode number 182 of Muscle Car of the Week. And we thank you for hanging out on our look at some of the top Chevelles in the Brothers Collection. There's many more in the collection. We might do this again. If you have a suggestion for what you might think is the top car or top cars from the Brothers Collection, let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll put together a special compilation just for you. And we'll see you next time with another great car or two or maybe more on Muscle Car of the Week.